Okay, I'm going to do this. Hey everybody, what's up? It's me, Kayla, and welcome to my channel. Tonight, guys, you and I are both going to be cleaning out my closet. Well, actually, it's just me doing all the work. You get to watch, and um, I'm very jealous of you. Because, girl, I'm not even kidding. I have been procrastinating this for about two months now, and that is not even an exaggeration. My closet is so messy that I can barely even walk in it, and whenever I open the closet door, my mood could be like, yay, and it'll go like down a couple notches. It's like, you know when a room is super messy and your heart just feels heavy and the air feels thicker because you're just like, oh my gosh, it just stresses me out so much. But you know what? It is not going to be messy for long because for dinner, I had cake and I had coffee so that I would have lots of artificial energy to tackle this mess that is just behind this door right here. But anyways, guys, I'm about to show you the reality of my really, 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 really messy closet. We're going to get started and we are going to declutter the crap out of it quite literally. So let's go inside. By the way, yes, I am wearing pajamas because we might as well be comfy while we do this, right? You're entering the danger zone. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I'm embarrassed so let's take a walk or should i say a trip because you know it's so messy that look oh my gosh i just fell i'm just kidding that was fake but it would be really easy for somebody to fall in here because you can barely walk this corner is what drives me the most crazy you would think it's the clothes in the middle of the floor which yes that bothers me too but like this especially this is really bad this is like the inside of my brain on most weekdays anyway so um up here oh my gosh it's just it's so bad i think it's so funny this whole section right here literally like look this whole section looks like it belongs to a six-year-old we have squinkies a strawberry shortcake suitcase like stuffed animals in this bedazzled little jewelry box um and the reason i have all of these like babyish toys is because well, we don't really have much storage space, and so my mom told me, unless I want to throw it away, I have to keep it in my own closet. So that's why they're in here. Um, we have, like, fan mail, and it, it's just so bad, guys. Like, and then this, I, I can't even, like, oh, oh, it's bad. So now that you guys have seen an overview of the horrendous mess, we are not going to waste any time and we are going to just go to town. Like, we're going to make this fun though, okay? You know why? I'll tell you why. In every job that must be done, there is an element of fun. You find the fun and snap! The job's a game. And every task you undertake becomes a piece of cake. It's very clear to see that Miss... Kayla needs to clean out her closet so bad. It's making me so sad. It's making me so sad. No more monkey business. So now the golden question that I must ask myself is, where in the world do I even start? You know, I feel like with things like this, there really is no right or wrong place to start. You just have to start somewhere. I'm just going to be taking one thing at a time, you know? They say to take life one day at a time when it's rough. So this is rough. Therefore, I'm going to take one item at a time and do something with it. So uh, first, it starts with this. This is like a pink little blouse. And if I don't want it, well, obviously then I'm not gonna keep it. And I do not want this anymore. I'm going to be selling a lot of the clothes that I do not want. So anything I don't want, I am going to be placing outside of my closet. Two seconds later. Wait, actually I want this. I changed my mind. Uh, what is this? Um, yes, princess. These are PJs. So I'm going to fold it up nice and neatly because my little pajama bin is just a mess. A hot mess express. Underwear. Ooh, a penny. When you clean your room and you get distracted by every little insignificant thing such as this penny. Um, I'm going to put it inside my cupcake. This is my cupcake. I keep all of my loose change in here. Yeah. And, oh, this is expired. It was an Olive Garden bread sticks coupon. Oh, big mound of clothing. The 
this already feels so good like honestly i know i've barely done anything but it already feels so much better yes there's a lot of things beneath my feet that i'm going to be hanging up so let's do a sped up little montage literally all i'm doing is hanging up the clothes that are next to me so here we go Hopefully this will inspire some of you guys to, you know, clean out your closet if you feel that it's necessary or clean your room or whatever. Because honestly, once you get into it, it's sort of like satisfying. You know, it kind of just like relieves something. Like you feel less stressed. You feel like airier. It's, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, let this be your motivation to clean. You just feel like a new person, you know? And then you find things you forgot you even had. Ooh, baby. There's a lot of like dirty laundry in my closet. Just saying. Once like the majority of my clothes are put away, guys, I am going to start moving on to tackling the piles of just crap that has been shoved in the corner right here. That, like I said, is probably the thing that's bothering me the most besides all my clothes being thrown on the floor. I don't have a good excuse. I mean, I've just been so busy. I don't know if anybody can relate, but anytime I say I might wear something, it usually means that I won't. But then again, I might, you know what I'm saying? I gotta learn how to just part with certain things, but it's hard. It's very hard to part with clothes. You guys, I have about a million and 10 of these sheen bags. So I'm gonna go take a trip to the garbage and I'll be right back, okay? This big piece of poster board. <laughs> I used this for like the background of taking lip test photos, um, but it's like really dirty and uh, I just, I'm either going to buy a new poster board or figure out a different way to take them because every time I walk in my closet and see this, I don't need this big of a piece. I could use a little piece of paper, you know what I mean? So I'm going to just throw it out of my closet. Um, oh my goodness, guys. More clothes to go through. All right, these are cute. I like these. These are super cute. Fuchsia colored top. We're gonna hang this beauty up. I never really wear color. Uh, most of my wardrobe is black and white um, just because I prefer neutrals. Oh wait, this is out of place. It's supposed to be with like the blocks. There we go. You guys, oh my gosh, watch this. I can walk again. Yay! So after hanging some things up, um, this is what we're left with. I mean, there are still a few more articles of clothing on the floor, but actually, no, the only thing I see that I didn't hang up is this yellow top. Other than that though, um, I can walk in here again, which is nice, but my shoes are all cluttered together. Um, this, this corner right here, actually, if I stared at it long enough, I could probably have a heart attack. Like, it's hard for me to breathe when I look at that. Um, we have like random boxes up here, so we still have a lot of work to do, but I think the next thing I'm going to focus on is just putting these shoes away. So I'm gonna find a good angle for you guys, and then we are going to organize my shoes and then get rid of any pairs that I don't want. I wanna show you guys something. Okay, so right back there, hopefully you can see where I'm pointing. I have a suitcase and I have a ginormous bin of squishy pencil toppers. I do not need either one of those things in my closet. I'm going to see if I could put them in the garage or in the basement. So I'm gonna take them out of my closet and then I'll have way more room for my shoes. The bin is so heavy. Ugh. Oh my gosh, ouch. This video, this is like a visual image of a headache. Ugh. Okay, this bin 
of rubber animals is heavier than I am. I can't even lift the whole thing at once. It's that, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So what I'm gonna do first, guys, is I'm going to put any of my fall shoes way over there in the corner because I'm not gonna be wearing them for a while. Put one shoe on top of the other, and soon you'll be walking out the door. I literally have never wore these before. I bought them last year, and I have yet to actually wear them out and about. Maybe one day. They just kind of look like bowling shoes to me. They're Tommy Hilfiger, but I, I don't know. These shoes and these shoes are also some of my favorites. These just make me feel like I'm on top of the world. Like, hey -ya! Oh yes, I will be able to find my shoes so much easier now. Okay, that feels nice. That feels really, really, really nice. Um, but you know what'll feel even nicer? Whenever uh, this stuff is no longer present, okay? So let's adjust the angle. Let's adjust the angle. There we go. It's like angel, devil. One side is like pretty clean. The other side is a hot mess express. I'd rather be like popping this right now than cleaning. All right, so uh, let's just take one thing at a time. We have a rainbow box full of nothing. Um, I'm going to be throwing that away too. Um, we have this make it happen sign, which is cute. I want to keep these things. I just don't know what to do with it yet. I have literal popcorn in here. Like I am the queen of randomness. So uh, here's what we're gonna do, all right? This box that currently contains pocket bags, I'm going to put all of the pocket bags into a bin I have up there. And then this box is going to be used for all of my miscellaneous treasures, okay? These pocket bags will be going into this container which is full of lip balms and pocket back holders and other things that I'm trying to sell. I need to really work on selling everything. Really? That little jumpsuit thing that I tried folding up just literally fell on my head. That was a little haunting. Oh, look what I found. What a throwback. My fella Drop and Kennekin backpack. And like so much garbage. Ew. Whoppers. I might sell this backpack actually. Oh my gosh, there's earrings in here. I didn't know there'd still be things inside. Remember when these were like really cool? I could still get use out of this, I guess. Tissue paper, garbage, garbage. I'm gonna get a bunch of garbage in my hands and then dispose of it. What is this? Oh, is this a gift? Oh, it was a little gift from Miss Callie. She gave me all this candy. I am going to be keeping the candy. What is inside of the apple bag? Well, let's find out. Oh, what's in here? I think this is an Ipsy glam bag. I have yet to try out all this stuff. Oh, the iPhone. Oh, it's empty. They always say to keep your iPhone boxes. So I suppose I will keep it along with the receipt. Although I feel like it's such a waste. Oh my gosh, guys. I just simply cannot part with these gift bags. One says hello gorgeous and the other says happy birthday and they're just so pretty. So I think I'm gonna put these away in storage somewhere though. Wait, here's another bag. My filming equipment almost fell on me. I will be right back. I'm going to go put these things away and throw some things away. And when I come back, I will feel so much lighter. You know what I just hate? Things like this, like look, it's a sparkly jingle bell decoration or snowflake decoration and a sock and an old scrunchie. Eat. 
that just hit Lucky's birdcage. Oops. All of this is lip test supplies. So I'm gonna go put this with the rest of my lip test supplies. Lucky stars. You guys, I'm actually getting really excited. This corner that was once like unbearable is starting to look a little bit more bearable. So we just have more garbage. I remember when this used to be my go-to bag. It's actually so cute. So guys, just so I don't have to make so many stops back and forth to my garbage can, I'm just going to put any garbage that I find in this Dollar Tree bag. Please excuse Lucky. I'm going to mute this clip for now because Lucky's driving me nuts and you guys can just watch a sped up montage of me decluttering the rest of this corner. You know what, if I'm being honest, all of these stands and all of these big, huge pieces of equipment, I never use my backdrop for anything. I am honestly considering getting rid of it because I don't use it. It just takes up so much room. It's so bulky and I never put it to use. Like I have had this and I used it once for one video. Look, we have two random lids. Like this bothers me so much. Okay, so these two lids, obviously go with some type of container but i have no idea which container or where so i guess i'm gonna put it outside of my closet and then like figure it out Ooh, we have a sparkly little tiara this is actually a christmas decoration okay can i just say i'm so proud that this corner is actually so neat and tidy right now literally all i have is that tiny little tripod and this extra studio light and i'm really happy about it now guys there's all this stuff up here. Oh my gosh. More stuff from when I was like 12. Oh wait, I can throw this present box away. It's serving no purpose. Look at the little donut, it's so cute. I'm gonna keep my donut. I'm going to put these squishies downstairs because it's taking up so much room. So we are sort of getting close to the end, my friends, which is very nice. Um, This bag right here is just completely full of tissue paper. And oh my gosh, at the bottom there's chocolate. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy I didn't just throw the whole thing away. Oh my gosh, I need it. I need it right now. Hopefully it's not stale. Mm. So now guys, we have this box to go through and a lot of other things. So, oh my gosh. Wow, I didn't even realize this. Oh my gosh. There are so many Target bags in here full of things that I forgot I bought. Like these bunny fruit snacks oh my gosh these are the love of my life and i did not know that these were in here otherwise they would have been gone a really really long time ago and here we just have tape and in this other bag we have tape so i'm just going to put all of the tape in one target bag because there's no need to have two then we have three big bags of confetti also for lip test packages i'm going to put it all in this box because it is significantly bigger Now I can get rid of this box. I have a big box of clothes right here. And these were all things from last summer. And I'm pretty sure I don't want a lot of it. So I'm gonna take it out of my closet. And then after I'm done filming this video, I am going to really decide what I wanna keep and what I don't wanna keep. Um, so I will be taking that out in just a second. Looks like all of the clothes surrounding it are things that I was kind of iffy about. So I'm gonna put it in the box and I will be selling a lot. You know, guys, I'm going to clean up the rest of this closet Mary Poppins style. You know, when she snaps her fingers and then suddenly everything is like back to normal and it's nice and neat and perfect. That's what we are going to do for the rest of this video, okay? So I'm gonna show you a very messy corner and then I'm gonna snap my fingers and just like Mary Poppins, it'll be practically perfect in every way. You guys ready? Here we go. Now let's fix this mess with just one single snap. You guys ready? Ta-da! Oh my goodness, guys, this looks so much better. I have extra pillows and blankets over here. I have my cupcake full of money. And then also I have two boxes just full of lip test supplies. This situation is really bad. You guys ready? Three, two, one. 
Look at that, guys. Woo! So, you guys, here is a new overview of my closet. And look! Oh, my gosh. I can walk again. Yay! I'm so excited that I can walk in my closet once again. I am a happy girl. All right, you guys. So, that was all for today's video of me cleaning out my closet. I hope that you all found this satisfying and enjoyable to watch. If you did, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And I want you guys to comment down below. What is one thing that you are going to clean after watching this video? I really and truly hope that I was able to inspire some of you to maybe clean out your bedroom or your closet or your junk drawer or hey, even your purse. Because let me tell you, it just makes you feel like you could breathe easier if you do it. So anyways, if you guys are not already subscribed, please make sure you click subscribe and turn on post notifications. It would mean so much to me. But anyways, I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you again for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Mwah.